once the storyboard is defined, the story flow is completed, uh, all the sketches and captions are ready, I have several options for exporting my work. One option is uh, to export sketches. I can choose a location, a file name, and a, a scene range. Or I can e export uh, the scene to Toons to start the actual animation production into Toons. Or I can print my storyboard. When I select the print option, the page layout window opens. Here I, I can select the different page layouts for printing out my storyboard. For instance, in this case, this is a, a two row, each with three um, storyboard panels. Or I can choose a different one. This one is with, uh, has three columns. Or if I'm not happy with the, the layout already available, I can create my own, and later on I can save it. I can uh, um, decide the page size, the page format, and so on in the page setup window. I can activate uh, the grid and set aside uh, to have some references when creating uh, my element. And then I can drag and drop uh, the elements and I can start composing my page layout. Now I'm adding the, the captions. My layout is going to have two columns. I resize and reposition the elements. I also add the, the panel number, the duration for the panel. What I can do in this case is to format the way the duration will be displayed, font, size, style, etc. And I can do the same for the panel number. I can also choose a color. Now I can select uh, with control click all my elements and I, then I can copy and paste them to create the, the second column. I can add also a page number that will be displayed uh, on each page of my storyboard, printed storyboard. And th then I can also add the production title. And I can format it as well. When the layout is ready, I can print out my storyboard also as a PDF. I can assign an I a name to the PDF file. This is the PDF that has been generated. You see that each page contains two panels. So now my storyboard is ready to be uh, exchanged with other studios or with other people working with me.